Does, and we're here with Emerging Artists USA Web TV, and we're at the New York International Independent Film and Video Show. Um, tell us a little bit about the movie. We're here. I'm Alvarez, and I'm here with Sacred Game. All right, which is the three stories involved in one. You think you know what's going on, but it's going to take it to a, a different turn. You won't know until the end. Jose Alvarez. That's right, Jose Alvarez. Tell us a little bit about Jose Alvarez. Well, Jose Alvarez is an emerging artist. There you go. <laughs> and uh, I got a film coming out. It's Tom and Valkyrie along with this in the middle of uh, the end of this year. Uh, I'm involved with uh, I'm Ryan Dunn. And uh, I'm going to be going out to California with, uh, with the festival also and meeting some people from Summit Entertainment. And now, t in the film, mm -hmm. what, what is your character to? My character in the beginning is Lewis, a very articulate lawyer. Okay. okay, but when he dreams, when he falls asleep, he dreams of his alter ego, Pito, which is a rugged motorcycle guy which just works for Celeste and Alama. Sounds like my dreams. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah. how did you do to prepare for this? Uh, for I prepare exactly. for the role. Mm -hmm. Well, I. I for Lewis, it, I went to college, so I, I, I articulated and, and I had that part. But when it's come to for, for, for Pito, I had to, you know, get down and dirty, you know. <laughs> so you did a couple of cerveza drinking, more than usual. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it was pretty good. I enjoyed myself while I was doing it and it discovered a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? Well, it was good. Well, I really, really thank you for I talking you. to us. I thank you. And I appreciate it. I can't wait to see the movie. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you for watching, and you're watching Emerging Artists USA Web TV. Mendez, and we're here with Emerging Artists USA Web TV, and we're at the New York International Independent Film and Video Festival, and we're here with Ron Abraham, correct? Yes. How yeah. are you? Fine, how are you? I'm doing great, and tell us a little bit about your character. You play Andres, correct? That is correct. Um, he is one of the four friends uh, that grew up together, united by common bonds. Um, he lives up in Spanish Harlem, and uh, okay. he's divorced, and looking to have a good time with his friends on the weekend. And now, what did you do to prepare for this character? Bernardo Chilindron, who is the uh, director, uh, really worked with me. Uh, this is my first feature film. Oh. So, so I had a great time. And just, you know, listening to him and, and, and his guidance and kind of delving into that type of character. And a tremendous amount of my family lives in Spanish Harlem. So, uh, you know, I spent a lot of my time. Easy transition. There. Yeah, it was, it was really easy, actually, you know, that aspect of it anyway. And uh, congratulations, this being your first role, I, I, some of the actors are like amazing, have amazing experience. How did that, how did you take in that information or that opportunity to work with such amazing folks on this movie? You know, I just tried to pay attention and learn from them and, uh, you know, kind of follow their lead. And uh, one actor in particular, uh, Angel Ramirez, he really, really kind of took me under his wing and helped me out a lot. He's, he, he's a great guy. So. Kudos to you, Angel. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate everything you did for me. Well, now you have an amazing start. Most most actors cannot start in such a great movie. Tell us what is next for you now that you have this amazing opportunity. I hope, you know, of course I hope only good things. And, you know, who knows? Only the good Lord knows. But, uh, Do you have anything in the works that we can you can tell us about? There's a couple little things that are that are still up in the air. You know, typical actor struggle. You yeah. know, hoping things come through and pull through. So I will see. We'll see. Stay in faith and keep on working. Thank you. The movie was amazing. Can't wait for everyone else to see it. And congratulations! It's an amazing start. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You heard it first here at Emerging Artists USA Web TV, and I'm here, Christina Mendez and Ron Abraham. Tune in. How are you doing everyone? My name is Emigro John. And you're watching Emerging Artist USA Web TV Show. And here I am with Angel Ramirez, one of the cast members of the film why we're here today covering. Angel, tell me, how was it for you working today in this uh, movie? Well, it was great. It was great because uh, the entire cast, uh, we know each other from way back, and we've worked in many other films. And, and you know, it was a, 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 a knit family. You know, everybody was in there working hard. Uh, we, were, we filmed the movie in Middletown, New York, in the fall time. And it was beautiful because, you know, you see all the colors of the flowers, you know, and everything. But we had a lot of time, you know, filming, you know, a lot of fun time. And, and it's a positive movie that talks about um, four friends that come together. They haven't seen each other in a long time, and they finally get together, and they go camping. But with going camping, everything, something happens, and everything turns upside down. And that's why it takes everybody, like, a, a little joyride, you know, and people are going to wonder, but, oh, what's going on? ¿Qué está pasando? And it's something totally different. You know, it has nothing to do about seeing us Latinos in a negative light, in la droga, or drugs, whatever. And it's something that I really enjoyed a lot. 
Tell me something about your character in particular. Well, I play the character of this guy named Richie, who uh, his dreams and aspirations are to be a singer. But unfortunately, you know, his dreams really never happened for him. You know, he, he didn't, you know, uh, reach that goal. Pero he still has those dreams. And in the movie, you see uh, a little bit of something that he does that will let everybody know, you know, that he's, he's you know, uh, dying to be an entertainer. But the movie is a bit of a thriller, right? Isn't yeah, it's a thriller. It's a scary movie. And, um, you know, it, it's just amazing how the director put it all together, great quality. Uh, we, again, like I said, we're from the Middletown, New York, and Middletown, New York was very supportive of all of us. And um, you guys are going to be taken for a little roller coaster ride. And, and I'm this, so. Is this your first scary movie? Yeah, it is. It is my first scary movie. And, and I, I, hope we, I hope to see a lot of Latinos do more scary movies. The experience was great. It was great. It was interesting. And uh, one, one funny thing that happened we were filming at night, and it was in the woods out there, you know? So, okay, so. it's funny because we had to, like, rap because sometimes we utilize the natural light and after a while you know because in the neighborhood we were we couldn't keep the, the machinery uh on so it was crazy but it, you know so we'll play tricks on each other and run through the woods but it, it was fun and i hope that you know everybody that watches this movie enjoys it if i may i would like to say thank you to bernardo chilindron for uh doing the film the director of the film juan espiga executive producer on this film the the, the uh, uh cinematographer juan and everybody that part, uh, had a part to do with this film. Now for our viewers who yet doesn't know who Angel, tell me a little something about you. Sure. Well, uh, most of you may remember me from uh, the popular group, uh, The Barrio Boys, Boys. Okay. and that to me is my life. You know, I, I, I love the fact that I was a part of that. We still talk, we're still a part of the group. And the, the experience was great, you know. Unfortunately, in when we first started, you know, it didn't continue to where it could have gone. And a lot of people, we still have fans that always ask, you know, ¿Y cuando sale? What happened? You guys came out, whatever. Right now, we're funding our own stuff. It's taking us a little longer, but we're not giving up. So fans, don't don't think that we're totally gone for good. So then Before you guys are doing a reunion? Reunion? Yeah, we still have a couple of things that are pending right now. Okay. Uh, we still have an album that we're uh, marketing ourselves. It's called Bariografia. Uh, being that... We want to add some more songs, so we might add, make it a little uh, more up to date, uh, you know, with, with the new year that just uh, came in. And I know that everybody's going to love it because we have a little bit of everything. You know, we didn't change, you know, the uh, el romance, you know, con la balada and all that stuff. We kept that in there. We added a little bit of reggaeton. Uh, Frank, um, Frankie J is also doing a duet with us, so we're, we're still there. So it's good to hear that you haven't left the music industry. You're just you're just expanding and going to the film industry yeah. as well. It's like they say, if you can't go in through the front door go to the back you know and acting has always been something that I've done since I was a little kid and uh, now coming back into it you know it's a great thing so I want to take you know seize the moment take the opportunity and do it you know and for the kids always say no to drugs like I always no, say no, 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 and man you know whatever you can do it don't let anybody tell you different you know oh you know what you come from the hood you can't make it it's not true man because a lot of us have gone through rough moments in our lives and we're doing positive movements so you can do it too question do you have a MySpace where we could tune in and talk yeah. to you and Sure. Um, my MySpace page is myspace.com forward slash A-R-J-R. Uh, you'll see all my videos, you know, of other stuff that I've done, stuff with the group. Um, you can go to youtube.com forward slash A-R-J-R 23. And he's in the studio working on the next album with the rest of the guys. So stay tuned. Keep your eyes and ears open because before you know, we'll be right out there and you'll be dancing to our music one more time. One more time. Well, thank you so much for being together with us. So. You got it. Thank you guys so much, Emerging Artists, for always, you know, being there, supporting us from day one. You guys have uh, shared, you know, a lot of uh, precious moments with us, and much love to you guys. We love you. Mwah. You heard it here first, Emerging Artists. We'll be right back.